Good day, everyone. Uh, let's see, I hate typing, so I figured the best way to show this would be just do a video. Um, I'm going to be covering, it's a, I guess, another charting platform. It's called um, C-Trader. I'm going to run through the basics of it, and it's very similar to Thinkorswim, but I figured I'd show it. A uh, few of the reasons I do like it a little bit more. Uh, one, it has depth of market, which is this over here. I'm going to get into that later, because I'm going to hopefully start up a little conversation on the forum about depth of market as... All the research I've done on it so far, I'm still freaking lost, and I've been looking into it for a while. Uh, the other thing it has is the ability to import MT4 indicators, sometimes successfully, sometimes not, but at least it has it where with Thinkorswim, there is no option to do that. It is a very simple system to use. If you use Thinkorswim, you'll probably feel right at home using this. Um, this is the basic interface. Uh, let's see, where did I get it? You can head over to... Let me bring it over. This is the website. It is ctdn.com. Um, I actually got mine through Trader's Way. They offer it free also, but it's branded, as you can see up top. It says Trader's Way, C Trader. Um, but either way, you can get it either way. It's here. It runs on XP, Windows Vista 7, and I'm running 8, so it works great there, too. Um, from the website, once you've installed it, there's a few things also that I like compared to Thinkorswim. There's, Thinkorswim didn't have a large database of or you have to really search for custom indicators once you've installed it um, and I'll show you how you install an indicator and everything it's really sim simple they have an indicators database of custom indicators so if you're looking for something you can head over here and check it so let's say you were looking I don't know like uh, the envelopes I think a lot of people use this you can click on it it gives you a description of what it is shows you some screenshots, it actually gives you the code there. But you don't even need that. All you have to do is click download and it will download. Once it's downloaded you click on the indicator and this is a lot simpler than MT4. Especially with the updates with MT4 they have just been getting ridiculous. Okay, so once you click on it you have CTrader open and you'll get a window that pops up in CTrader saying do you want to install the indicator just hit yes, says it's been installed successfully, and that is it. Indicator's done and installed. Not a lot of screwing around with where MT4 and the new builds, sometimes you'll drop an indicator into your Indies folder and then it disappears, vanishes, doesn't show up. Having to do the slash portable, run it as admin, all that bullshit kind of comes to an end. Um, to go to the Indie, then you just right click on the chart, you go to indicators and custom, and I think we did envelopes screen comes up. You can, settings are right here, very similar. And you just click OK. And watch, it won't show up, probably. Okay, so it didn't. Oh, there we go. So, that's it. Uh, if you want to remove indicators, pretty easy too. You just go up to the top here, and here's my envelopes. Gone. Uh, other indicators, it has all this stuff you're used to. So let's say we wanted to throw in, uh, I don't know, RSI. Let's click on RSI. There's your periods, your color, thickness. Do OK. RSI pops on. To remove it, you can either come up here and remove it, or for sub-window indicators, a little X appears here. You can just throw it on. Uh, let's see what else it does. Uh, if you actually ever go live with it down at the bottom, it does have your positions. If you don't want to see all that and you just want to see pure charts, up the top has default layout. If you click on this, it'll start removing things. You get a nice clean chart. If you're like me and you trade multiple charts, on the right-hand side it has multi-chart mode. Automatically adjusts for six charts. You want to see a chart, just click on it or go back. Um, Let's see, the second part of it that I mentioned was that you're able to import MT4 indicators. You can do that from this website. Now again, this doesn't work all the time. It's, they say 84%, but I'm realistically saying about maybe 60% of the time. Um, it's to cialgo.com, right up there. And all you do basically is, let me show you real quick if I can get one. Um, da, 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 da. Here we go. Uh, we'll come back to that. Basically, you'd go into Meta Editor. Uh, let me open it up real quick. To, uh, Google to see. Um, sorry, what's an? And I'll show you how it, pa it either does it or it fails. So let's go into my Wanda MQL4 and indicators. 
So if you have an indicator you want to convert or give it a try to convert, let's say like 5 bar reversal. That's an EX. I need an MQ4. Uh, da -da. So accelerator, MQ4. Now, in order to do this, you would need a second program called C-Algo, which is also available on their website for free. But you copy this, you paste it here, and then just convert indicator. Now, it's either going to say, yes, I could do it, and it says it needs moving averages.mqh, no chosen file. Let's see if I have that. It's the first time this one's happened, so if I don't, then it gives you an idea of how simple or difficult this can be. Trader, MQ4, indicators, MOV, and I don't have that one, so we could not do it. That's an update because it was not doing that before, so let's try one other one. We'll control A, delete it, and just for the hell of it, let's see, file, open, see if I can find another one. This is a this is monthly, weekly, daily, high, low. We'll try that one. See how it does it. Probably fail on it, but just so you get an idea. And it keeps wanting this moving averages MQH, so I have to look into that. But basically, that is how it works. Yeah, um, I've been able to convert, like I said, about 60% of my indicators over. Um, see Algo, the program you use, once it does successfully convert, is what it'll do is it'll give you some feedback, not feedback, it'll give you... Uh, wait for the program, sorry, I'm, comp I'm compiling a bunch of crap when we move off the screen. Okay, so this is, C this is Trader's Way, See Algo. Once you do get the compiled, it'll give you down here your C plus results. You copy this. And you just simply go into the Algo program. Close that. And over on the right it says indicators. As you can see, I've been kind of busy, like here. So you just go to new, you give it a name. It's down at the bottom here, it says new indicator too, because I clicked it twice, but and test to once that's done you code here and you just paste in your code and then you would hit compile now this is mt4 code so it's going to fail but let's see what happens so you can see if it works it'll say successful down at the bottom it says build fail errors one and error because again this was mt4 code if you click on it it takes you to the line where the error is but it's I say it's not perfect, but it's a little bit, of, in my opinion, a step above Thinkorswim because it does at least give you the option to try and convert some some of your stuff over. Um, hopefully, if you like it, give it a try. Um, if enough of you do, I'll post up a database of everything I have converted. Remember, there is also, if you need more indicators, you can go Indicators and just click More Indicators, and it will take you directly to the website so you can get more indicators. And the website itself, and this is free, no paying or any of that crap, of course, is ctdn.com if you want to get your hands on it and give it a try. I definitely like it. It's been pretty fun to mess with. With all the updates with MT4, they've, they're starting to get kind of aggravating. I've Indicators quit working on me. So this is written, the, code's, the code is uh, not written, in, it's not an MT4. So it does run a little bit faster, in my opinion. But if you have any questions on it or anything, hit me up on the forums. Give it a try. It's a fun little thing to play with, at least for the summer for me. And y'all have a great day.